Okay, moving right along. Let's go ahead and hit uh, Shift A. We're gonna make a cube. Although what we're gonna end up with is something a lot, well, not that different, but <laughs> different enough. All right. So uh, let's hit Tab. Let's go into uh, Edit over here. I've just got the, I'm in Phases mode. So I'm actually gonna delete off this one face. All right. So goodbye to that guy. Right. And uh, then what we're gonna do? Let's tab out of that and let's go over here to Add Modifier. And then we are going to add on here this uh, solidify. And then let's bump up the thickness. And you'll notice what's happening over here, right? It's kind of just uh, making this more of an actual you know, box with dimension to it, right? Uh, now, keep in mind that um, like the modifiers that we used in the past, uh, this is something that um, to kind of literally lock it in, I guess, um, in terms of ex exporting this out for a 3D model, we'd want to apply it. So if we were to just export this out right now, just go over here to File, uh, Export, and Kulata, or .dae, uh, it's going to go back to just looking like that box that we had before. Uh, what I want to do is uh, add in here another modifier, and this time it's going to be Subdivision Surface, and then you'll notice something really strange happens. All right, now keep in mind we've got two modifiers over here. This was the first one we put on. So I'm gonna fold that guy up. So we're just looking at the uh, the subsurface one. And uh, there's here's, here's the two things to pay attention to here. You've got subdivisions for your view and for your actual render. Now, if we're just planning along to, to you know export out uh, geometry, we don't really have to worry about the render. But uh, if you did want to see what this looks like or, or see the same thing that you're seeing here on stage when you render it you'd want these two numbers to be the same uh, let's kick them both up and then you see that we end up with kind of more of a, um, a basically just like a cup right so um, and then you can go back and you can also change the the thickness of what you did on you know the first time around if you just don't want to see the uh, the subdivision you want to go back and kind of get an idea of what you're doing with this first modifier just you know toggle the, the visibility on and off so again you can kind of bump it up there then you can go back and look at it again or you can just you know keep playing around with it up, up top here too and just see it kind of in the uh, you know full rendered or full preview mode uh, now again if we wanted to export this out we do have to go and um, commit to these things I guess probably the thing that makes the most sense is to commit to them in the order that we applied them so we're gonna hit apply all right and then just do apply again and then you'll notice that if you're to hit tab ooh, look at that geometry it's gotten quite complex right really sort of to the point that you can't modify it easily now at this at this stage uh, which is the whole point of having these modifiers to begin with and, and not actually committing committing to them right so you could go back and you could do things to them but um, as I found out you know in terms of exporting uh, we, we do have to kind of commit so you can always duplicate it and then you know kind of keep a version that you're just gonna hang on to for going back and modifying things. Uh, so I'm just going to export this out. I'm going to call it cup.dae, export as Colada. I probably just uh, overwrote something. That's OK. And here you go. This is the this is the DAE file. I'm actually not even opening this in anything. I just hit spacebar on the on the file on my Mac, and uh, that is what it looks like. Isn't that neat that Apple lets you kind of preview these things like so? Uh, and then in terms of dropping this into uh, Xcode, well, that's not actually what we want. Let's go find another project. Here we go. You can see I did this a moment ago. All you've got to do is just drop it right on in there like so. And you've now imported it, and you can see, well, it's a little hard to see. you got to bring in a light over here to get an idea. But sure enough, there is your file imported into Xcode.